Hello world! Welcome back to another Cyber Apocalypse CTF 2023 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Pwn Challenge questionnaire. Let's get into it. It's time to learn some things about binaries in Basic C. Connect to a remote server and answer some questions to get the flag. Right, let's connect to this. There's also some files to download, but I've already downloaded them and you'll see them here in a second. So let's go ahead and netcat into that. All right, question number one. Is this a 32-bit or 64-bit ELF? All right, that's an easy determination. They kind of showed you the answer in there, but I'm gonna show you kind of how I'm going to answer these questions in my own terminal with the test compiled binary as well as the test source code we have here. So all we need to do is run file on test and we can see that it's a 64-bit ELF. So we'll type in 64-bit for our first answer. What's the linking of the library? Static dynamic, as we can see here, it's dynamically linked. So that will be our answer. Is the binary stripped or not stripped? It's not stripped, so we'll type that in as our next answer. Which protections are enabled? So for this one, I'm gonna run GDB on it, and then I'm gonna run the check set command inside GDB. And then these first four are gonna be our protections to choose from. So clearly only the NX protection is enabled. So that will be our answer. What is the name of the custom function that gets called inside of main? All right, so we can look at the source code for this one. So here's the main function and it's calling the Voln function. So Voln will be our answer. What is the size of the buffer? in hex or decimal. Again, we can check a look at the source code for this, OX20, which is 32 in decimal. So that'll be our next answer. Which custom function is never called? Again, we'll go look at the source code for this one. And the GG function is the one that's not called. As you can see, it's not called inside the main function, nor is it called inside the Voln function. What is the name of the standard function that could trigger a buffer overflow? Again, we'll look at the source code for this one. fgets will be our vulnerable function as gets is usually a function that's susceptible to buffer overflow attacks. In fact, it's the main one that's susceptible. So that'll be our answer for that one. Insert 30, then 39, then 40 A's in the program and see the output. After how many bytes does a segmentation fault occur in hexadecimal? All right, so for this one, I'll do my create is it create pattern or pattern create? I think it's create pattern. And we'll go with, since the answer is probably going to be 30, 39, or 40, let's just do 100. Okay, it's pattern create 100. Okay, we'll take this, copy that, and then we will run our program like this. This will feed it in as standard input to the program after we run it with the R command. Oh, right. I've actually forgot to surround our string in single quotes. There we go. Six sev, and then we can see kind of where it broke at. Let's take a look at the uh, base pointer here. Pattern offset. Oops. Found it offset 32. That's not what we want. So let's try search. Uh, here we go. So we do have it at RSP. And if we come back up here and look at RSP, so this is actually what we should have looked at, but that's fine. So our segmentation fault is going to occur in this case on the stack pointer, which is going to be at an offset of 40. So we'll type that in. What is the address of GG in hex? So for this one, we can just do disassemble GG. 
and it'll be this first address up here. You can ignore the prefixing zeros as those don't affect the value of the address. So our address will be OX401176 like so. Great job. It's high time you solved your first challenge. Here's the flag and our flag ends up being theory before action. We'll copy that. Paste it in and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.